Welcome to a tutorial of the EVE Online Market Hub ranking page from Adam for EVE. Of course, as always, you need to go to adamforeve.eu and there since version 009, under the market category, you have the menu option Market Hubs. If you go there, then immediately you're shown the top stations um, regarding player cell volume. No, but wait, uh, there's more. Uh, there's more, we're not finished yet. Let's explain the display options and filters uh, from right to left. Uh, first of all, of course, you have the option to set the number of rows. Uh, that you want to have returned, uh, the more rows, uh, the potentially longer it will take. Um, important is averaging over days. Um, so in order to avoid peaks, local peaks, um, you can have the return data or the considered data for the ranking averaged over a certain set of days. So if you don't want that, you select one day, so that is uh, today. <laughs> um, you only want to see the ranking based on the data that is the market data that is available for today, uh, or you can go even uh, until 90 days um, in order to have a, a constant historic view. Um, please note that, uh, of course, the more days you select for averaging, the database has to work a bit more, so it can, can take a bit longer. Default is seven, so averaged across one week. Now, even more importantly, the sort column. Um, by default, uh, it is sorted by uh, player cell volume, and uh, in order to explain the options uh, that you have in there, which sadly uh, OBS doesn't display uh, the drop down. But uh, essentially it is the columns uh, that you also uh, see here. So all columns that have numbers in it. Um, let me explain um, the columns then. Uh, what do these numbers mean? Um, these numbers um, are split into player orders and total orders currently. So player orders means um, this column by orders means uh, how many by orders have EVE Online players set at that particular station. So G4, uh, the main hub in the game, has 83. 2,000 um, by orders set by players. By volume is um, the amount of ISK that you would potentially need to have in order to fulfill all of these uh, by orders from players. And these, this is in millions ISK. Again, if you go over the uh, title of the columns, you get a small uh, pop-up uh, tooltip, um, which explains the column. Sadly, OBS doesn't record that, so you don't see it right now. Um, so this is millions. Um, so uh, you have uh, 14 trillion ISK uh, that you would need in order to fulfill all 82 thousand buy orders in JITA. So that are these uh, columns. Uh, same goes for cell. Uh, so 140,000 cell orders uh, made by players in JITA um, with a volume of 47 trillion. Uh, so the players would get 47 trillion if all of these cell orders would be uh, placed at the currently set price. And you've got the same values for total. Uh, I can see there's only a, a very small uh, difference here, but there is a difference. 
um, you see that uh, in the volume the difference is quite big uh, so there's 22 trillion uh, in addition in the total orders what's the total uh, what's this difference made of it's of course non-players so npc uh, orders which are placed in the stations and you can select um, to have that displayed as well uh, here in the columns so if you want to see uh, the non-players you go you select that checkbox go to set filters and then additional columns appear um, which display the exactly the 22 trillion um, that's the difference between the player orders and the total orders so in GTA there are 388 NPC uh, cell orders uh, that account for 22 trillion that's a lot good so um, this explains um, now how you can sort currently it's sorted by cell volumes uh, for example you want to sort uh, by the uh, number of buy orders so you just uh, select player by nope player by orders not volume hit again set filters and then you see it is uh, the ranking is done by that column so therefore you can choose the column uh, that you want to to rank at uh, for example if you go for a buy order or volume you see that the structures um, that there are several structures that are listed here um, which are used for range buy orders as it seems um, which brings me to uh, to station and structures uh, you see the type so if it's an NPC station or a uh, a structure so a citadel or a EC um, and if the uh, the type of structure is known this is also displayed uh, here and of course in which region it is in which system it is and what uh, kind of security that system has which leads to the another set of filters uh, the filters for geography um, so let's say you only want to have uh, you want to see this ranking uh, but you want to see it for low sec uh, so what are the greatest uh, biggest trade hubs in low sec you want to see uh, cell volume again let's go and there you have it, uh, Placid, uh, and I'm not going to try to pronounce the system name. Um, that NPC um, station seems to have the biggest cell volume, um, at least by uh, ISK value of the cell. And if we go to, well, for just uh, in order to uh, demonstrate that wormhole, then of course we've got Thera as only uh, public market uh, in a wormhole system. So that uh, explains uh, nearly all uh, filters. You've got one column that currently you cannot select and uh, if you would uh, be able to read uh, the tooltip when you go over the um, the description it's regional only this leads us to display uh, let's got to go to the standard setting again um, here your list you've got a ranking according to stations now what if you want to see what systems are uh, have the highest market volume so you select systems and set the filters and then you have of course Jita is the leading uh, system Amar etc uh, etc et um, for example here you've got Providence uh, so a null sex system and you can go even one step further and look at the regions and again domain uh, the, not domain uh, the forge is at the uh, very top and now this option uh, is enabled to have additional columns 
Uh, so let's take the total matrix out. And you can have on a regional level, you can uh, display the trade matrix. Now, what does trade matrix mean? Um, the all the orders um, order matrix are potential trades. Uh, so the amount of sell orders or the amount of buy orders. Uh, so this is a potential for trade, but it's not completed trades. However, uh, CCP provides uh, as well the data on a regional level. Therefore, this column is only available if you go to regions. Um, on the regional level, um, what trades have been completed in the last days? And this data is displayed here. So you can see that, uh, again, averaged uh, across the last seven days uh, in the forge, um, 430,000 trades, transactions have been made. So 430,000 times uh, each day uh, someone uh, buys or sells actively something uh, on the market. And if we go to items, so this is the uh, individual commodity that has been uh, sold in millions. So uh, in GTA, 34 uh, billion items have been sold. Uh, so for if you sell, uh, I don't know, 1 million uh, of Tritanium, um, that is 1 million of this 34 billion. Um, also quite interesting is the diversity of the market, which is this column types. Um, it shows the uh, distinct different commodities that have been sold. Um, so you see that Jita has the biggest diversity. Uh, you can also sort by that, try type, set filter. Whoop. Um, Jita is, has again by far uh, the greatest uh, diversity or the forge, which is mainly Jita. Um, and then uh, you get down that, uh, for example, in um, the Citadel, um, only uh, 1,700 different commodities are actively traded um, each day. And value is, again, in millions, uh, the, the value of these uh, completed trades. So uh, on a daily basis in the forge, um, which is mainly Jita, um, 20 trillion ISK is changing hands on a, a daily basis. Uh, so this sadly is only, these columns sadly are only available on a regional uh, level. Um, so now you've got an overview. Uh, okay, uh, so this is uh, average across seven days, uh, the current state. So what was the history uh, of uh, this? Um, you can look at that uh, if you go to every location uh, and click on the location name, um, then the location details are opened, opening that in a separate tab. Uh, you can see these location details with uh, general information, uh, but also uh, the information which are displayed in the rankings. Uh, just that here you have the history of it. You've got the volumes of buy and sell orders. You've got the number of orders itself. Um, and you've got the, uh, the really, the trades that uh, really happened, um, both with uh, the move disk, so the isk that uh, uh, changed hands, um, and if you use the checkboxes here, you can uh, remove uh, lines because they, they are blocking the others. Uh, so here you see uh, the amount of items traded. Um, again, one million 
items of uh, tritanium uh, would be a, a huge chunk of this uh, would count as 1 million for uh, in this metric uh, then oh, that was the false one uh, this one um, you have the number of orders um, that have been fulfilled uh, so you see here there's a quite a big jump uh, jump in November and if you remove that the smallest uh, number is the diversity and we've got a quite a interesting drop here um, in summer so here you can look at the uh, history of these metrics if you click on the location name uh, if you click on the numbers then on a regional level your or system level you're drilling down uh, so okay the forge 100,000 uh, buy orders are, are up uh, so how does th that look on a system level um, so if you click on that number you're drilling down uh, to the forge it would be the same if you select systems and type here in the region filter uh, the forge you will get the same uh, view um, and then you see that uh, Jita uh, has 80,000 of that and if you go down uh, click on that number again um, then it's drilled down even more uh, to the stations uh, within that system so that you see that GTA 4 um, of course has the leading numbers for uh, the GTA system if you would click on uh, this and I'm doing that for um, uh, for a smaller uh, station let's take this one um, then you go to the market order viewer and you see exactly what these orders are um, mainly makes sense for the smaller numbers um, you may have noticed that uh, if you're submitting uh, this uh, the filters or uh, going on onto the links here uh, this is URL encoded so the parameters are within the URL therefore you can bookmark uh, any page um, and you can also link uh, a sp specific site that you want to show someone uh, can just use the URL here and you will receive exactly uh, this over this overview I hope I could give you a small insight in the versatility of the market hub page and uh, if you have any questions then uh, of course feel free to reach out to me thank you bye bye